What's up, Bearcats? Hey, it's your boy, Mr. Motivation, TP. Hey, I'm a chocolate kid from the south side of Europe, PA, and I'm your inspirator and your motivator, baby. Hey, uh, I, I got the word. I got the news. They told me y'all supposed to be showing y'all pride, right? P-R-I-D-E. Hey, what's that Bearcat pride about, right? See that P? That, that being prepared, right? Like, coming to school with your notes and your homework done, coming to class with a pencil, being prepared, being ready, ready to take on the world. See, I gotta show up to work, I'm a, I own a business, right? And if I show up to do a job to cut somebody's grass and I don't got no lawnmowers, I'm gonna get fired, right? Nobody wants somebody that's unprepared because unprepared means you're uninterested. So hey, yo, the first P, 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 be prepared. Now that R, right, I like that R because Aretha Franklin, she got that song. She said, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me, respect. Hey, yo, and first off, you got to show respect to get respect. And it respects a lost cause in this, in this society today. Let's be real. But yo, you got to respect your teachers. You got to respect your peers. And most importantly, you got to respect yourself, man. Because if you don't respect yourself, nobody going to respect you for you. So hey, yo, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, what do it mean to me? What do it mean to you? Respect. Hey, yo, that I, right? Integrity. Hey, yo, funny story, right? See, my daughter, she was... She, Growing up, she was small. We used to worry about it, right? So we put this camera, put this camera in her room, so we can see what she's doing. But we never told her. I mean, she's young. So yo, one day she's five now, but we still have the same camera. She up there, she jumping around. It sound like the whole house is about to come down, and she's coming through the ceiling. So I go up there, I'm like, yo, what are you doing? She's like, um, I wasn't doing anything, Daddy. Or did you see me jumping off my bed from the camera? Like, yo, kid, you don't got no integrity. Um, Daddy, what does integrity mean? You got a point there. Hey, your integrity is doing the same thing when nobody's around, right? Because a lot of times we're at, we'll be on our good show, right? We're good too show. We, we act good when the teacher's looking or when our parents are looking. You know what? You know, you used to probably see it. You driving and you cruising and then you see the cop and all of a sudden you're driving like this. But yo, what do you do when nobody's watching? See, that's really what defines you. That's really who you are. So do you have integrity or are you one of the people where if somebody's around, I'm gonna do the right thing. If they're not around, guess what? I probably am doing something wrong. So the I is really important. Where's that integrity at? Now that D, that D, I love it, I love it. Determination. Hey, yo, when I play basketball, right? I'm a thousand point scorer, I'm up on the board, take my mark. Yo, we won a district championship, we won county championships, because we had that determination. It didn't matter what the score was, it didn't matter who the opponent was, we knew what we came to do when we came to win that game. So do you got determination or do you get easily distracted? Do you got determination or are you probably going to quit if, if it don't go how you want it to go? So you got to have the determination. The determination, I'm going to graduate high school. The determination, I'm going to college. The, the determination, I'm going to be successful. You got determination or are you somebody that will quit? Somebody that will throw in the towel? Because guess what? Those people may not be successful. And then that last one, right, E, is it entitlement? No, that's not good. Is it entanglement? No, that's Jada. Engagement. Hey, your engagement's so big, right? See, I have a couple. I, I sit at Long Campus. I'm the CEO of a company as well. And I tell my board members, when you come to these meetings, I need you engaged. I need you actively taking notes. I need you asking questions. When we vote on stuff, I need your thoughts. I need your opinions. Why? Because that shows that you're in it, right? That shows that you're committed. That shows that you have an interest in what we're doing, what we're discussing, and what we're trying to accomplish. And what you're trying to accomplish is the same goal as your teachers, right? Your teachers don't want you just to not succeed. They don't want you to fail. They want you to be engaged to help you succeed so you can learn the information. So engagement is definitely, definitely important. So yo, they said P-R-I-D-E, what it mean to me? Yo, listen, I heard you guys get rewarded for showing your pride. Hey, when I was in school, guess what we got rewarded for? Nothing. You can't to come to school. So take advantage, right? Because if they're going to reward you for showing your pride, the least you can do is be prepared, be respectful, have integrity, be determined, and show that engagement. That's the least you can do. And guess what? If you do those five things, I promise you, you're going to get something out of school. I promise you. Hey, what's your boy, Mr. Motivation? Show that pride, Bearcats. Let's go.